Hey GED students, it's GED question of the day time and we've got another slope problem. So um, I love doing slope problems for my questions of the day because the GED loves slope problems. So don't be the least bit surprised when you see one. So let's go ahead and read the directions on this one. What is the slope of the function below? What is the slope of the function below? So quite clearly we know where we're going. We at least know that much even if we don't know how to get there. They've asked us to determine what the slope is. So where I'm going is I'm trying to find slope. Now the tricky thing about slope is that how we find it depends on what we've been given. Now they tell us what this thing is that we're looking at. They say it's a function. And it is a function, um, but don't think this is some new kind of way to find slope. Um, we've learned um, how to find slope on a graph, how to find slope when given points, how to find slope in a word problem, and how to find slope uh, from an equation. Now, this thing is one of those four, even though it looks a little differently and we've called it a function. Notice that I do have a mathematical expression with another with an equal sign and another mathematical expression. So I have two expressions that are equivalent to each other. This thing is what we call an equation. And so yes, I'm finding slope and what I've been given is an equation. So the easiest way to find slope when given an equation is to look at the slope intercept form of the line. If you remember, and I hope you do, the GED formula sheet has this formula on it. It says that the slope intercept form of a line is y equals mx plus b. And mathematicians love this form. Uh, we call it the slope-intercept form because we're not super creative, us mathematicians. Oh, I can't spell intercept. Okay, so this is the slope-intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b. So that is straight off the GED formula sheet. I didn't just come up with that. But what I want to point out to you is that mathematicians are the least creative people on Earth. We call this the formula, we call this formula the slope intercept form of a line because it tells us two things. It tells us the slope, whatever number is multiplying with x is our rate of change or our slope. And it tells us the y intercept. Whatever number is adding or subtracting at the end is your uh, y intercept or starting point of your function. Okay, so whether you realize it or not, this particular function here is in slope-intercept form. Now students tell me all the time, Kate, it's not in slope-intercept form. There is no y. So here's another thing that you need to know. f of x is absolutely and totally equivalent to y. f of x is not some new kind of math where you have to times f and x. No, I literally read that as f of x, meaning a function of x, and it's a formal name for y. Um, uh, it's kind of like how you have your first name and your last name. If I'm on good terms with you, I might call you, um, you know, the more casual first name, like I could just say y equals. Or if uh, I was trying to be more formal, I might call you by your last name, Mrs. Rogers or Mr. Rogers, or trying to be more formal. That's like the f of x. And so anytime you see f of x, you can just replace it with y. It means the same as y. And so you can see that I really do have this in the slope intercept form. My y is alone, alone meaning that I can see the slope. The slope is the number multiplying with x. We call that a coefficient. And I could also see the y-intercept, but this program, this problem has asked me to find slope. So the coefficient on x is a slope. So now people tell me all the time, well, does that mean then, Kate, that the slope is just negative? Um, or maybe they'll say, or is the slope negative x? And uh, you're kind of right, but not exactly right in either one of those cases. So. 
um, the slope is just the coefficient, the number multiplying by x. And even though it doesn't appear like there's a number out front, um, we know that there's what we call an invisible coefficient in math class. Basically, if I just have one of something, I don't have to bother to count. You know, if I just have a single table, I don't have to walk around and say, that's one table. Everybody can count to one for themselves. So it's the same thing when you don't see a number out front. So let me pull up a different color here. So I don't see a number out front of x. That means there's like an invisible one shoved up against him. So what's the slope of this line? The slope of this line is negative 1 because how many x's are there? There are negative 1 x's. Awesome. That's the answer. What's the slope of the function? It's negative 1. All right. If you have any questions about that, be sure to drop them in the comments. I will be happy to answer them.